Hello, my name is Iyad Rafidi. I'm a Palestinian living in Australia. I'm with Emmanuel Sahaf, and we're here to discuss the Israel-Palestine paradigm currently happening. Hi, guys. I'm How Emmanuel, are you? and I'm calling from Israel. So how do you think the the media war is going on? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, I can see a lot of paid media by Israel and otherwise the whole world clamoring against it. I, I'm, not sure it's all, it's, I'm not sure it's all paid. I think there's a lot of pro-Israeli uh, activity by the Jewish communities uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, the Western, uh, in the Western world. Uh, which is the Jew Jewish community is, is by and large uh, pro-Israel, uh, especially after the terrible uh, massacres which were conducted by, by Hamas. Uh, in the long run, there's a problem, okay? Because the, the, the Jewish communities uh, abroad are usually progressive and they realize that uh, what's happening in Gaza uh, now is, isn't, isn't gonna do us any good. So, uh, so they are in a difficult position, you know, to keep to keep keep uh, uh, supporting the Israeli government when the Israeli government does things which are borderline criminal or or even not borderline. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be, you know, as, as time goes on, that's going to be more and more difficult. Actually, what what I've seen is the Jewish community abroad has turned against Israel. They're, they're not for it. And they've realized that what they've been taught and what they've been told about the Palestinians is quite wrong. Where have you seen and that? Where have you seen all that? over the media? I, I can send you link after link yeah, after this link of, because of I, Jewish I'm, demonstrations. I'm not aware, I'm not aware of, of yeah. any major developments of that sort, yeah, at least not yet. So, so, so there's been plenty of it. To the point where the Palestinians themselves now are sharing information, saying, "Please, no anti-Semitism, because the the Jewish community is with us." So uh, I'm seeing, in in fact, a huge paradigm shift between the Jewish community and the Zionist community, like big okay. time. That, that's interesting. That maybe right. we because maybe we we don't get the full picture here in, in Israel. You know, I'll, I'll send you plenty of links. Mm -hmm. The UK, um, the US, right? Um, throughout Europe. Well, in the US, there, there's always been a, a sizable uh, 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 progressive community which has been very critical of Israel. Uh, they are in a bind now because of what Hamas did. Uh, but uh, I think the situation hasn't changed uh, yeah, in, well, in a major well, way. But uh, I'm uh, open I think... to correction. Yeah. I think they're all seeing, and, I, and I'm not, you, you know, I'm a pacifist, right? So I'm, I'm not for the death of anyone. But they're all seeing that, you know, sort of what Hamas did is the oppressed against the oppressor. And even though the lives are regrettable, I, I, I think Hamas is starting to take the position of a Nelson Mandela worldwide, right? I'm not sure that's... What that means for anyone, I'm I'm going to be agnostic on it if I can. No, use I think that I word. think as long as they keep their uh, their uh, charter the way they keep the charter, they can't get away with the Nelson Mandela claims. But, I'm, I'm not um, sure because they, they, I'm, I'm they're releasing sure. they're releasing videos of how they're looking after the hostages and, uh, oh, and they, a they have a, have a lot to make up for now. That's obvious. Yeah. They 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 did they right. they went way beyond. What what uh, what any, any anybody in his right mind thought was was conceivable, and, no, and no, now no, they're just... trying to they're, they're trying to, in, to to improve their image because they they no, still I... need the support of the Arab world. I'm I'm just saying I think they've won the the image contest, right? When when you see the Israeli politicians coming out and threatening. Um, media people and saying no you can't say this and we're the innocent ones well, it's not and... so difficult to win the the media media contest because yeah. it's always the weak against the strong and the, the weak against the strong and, and israel's been trying to play the weak for ages and but that's obviously not 
anywhere close to it's two. It's not or working six. anymore, no, right? It's not working anymore. No. Okay. So, so, so Hamas, mean, gets, the, Hamas gets the Hamas gets the benefit of the doubt, and uh, the uh, social media are, like you said, are are uh, social media, and they're very much in favor of uh, of Hamas, yeah. which is something we're going to have a lot of difficulty well, with. They're in favor of the Palestinians, right? They, they've that they now. I don't see think they differentiate as but, the oppressed. You know, they, I don't right. think many different people differentiate, even, yep. even though there's a difference. Yeah. So I I don't know I I don't know how for example UK or U, US is going to be harder to topple, but most European countries are, are going to stand against their people when clearly the tide has turned throughout all of Europe. I mean, maybe Rebecca can tell us how, how the US sentiment is at the moment. Right? I, still, and... I, I still don't see, don't see the, the, that trend. I see the, the governments are obviously in favor of Israel. The populations, yes. are, uh, populations in, in some countries are, uh, are cha changing slowly, but I don't think there's a clear picture uh, developing that uh, the, the public is all against. But it will. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm looking at the wrong social media, but mate, I, I don't think you guys are getting the clear picture in Israel of what's really happening around the world. Okay, in the US, there is somewhat of a generational gap. Um, the older generations do tend to support Israel. Biden is kind of old school Democrat. Democrats do tend to be on paper, um, more supportive of the two-state process. Um, but the younger generations um, tend to, are more supportive of Palestine. Um, there is a split, like it's not absolute there, um, but in general, the younger people tend to be, the more sympathetic towards Palestine they tend to be. And that's what is going on in the US. Yeah. So uh, I, I think if the Palestinians keep showing images of what's happening to them and how they're being treated by the IDF and the Israeli police and all the rest of it, I, I think Israel's gone. No, right? we're unless not gone is, yet, unless we're Israelis... We're in, we're in trouble. Over time, I'm not saying this is going to happen in five minutes, please, right? Mm -hmm. But I think unless Israelis take control of the situation and fix it themselves now, mm -hmm. right? What what so we saw happening like, in like South, South Africa. Africa is going to come. It's going to be like mm. like South Africa, and yeah. South Africa went uh, took it took a long time. It went rather mm. slowly until the East, the Soviet Union collapsed. When the Soviet mm. Union collapsed. Uh, Everything uh, South Africa basically became expendable. The, uh, the Western world didn't need the support of the South African regime uh, in the mm. in the Cold War, and that's when uh, things went downhill for the South African government. I don't think we have a we don't have a similar situation, but it could be if uh, if in the United States uh, uh, somebody becomes president who is not a old school Democrat but a progressive Democrat, then we're in deep trouble. Look, you, you can't stop the power of people, all right? I don't care if you're in the long run, in drunk, the long run, in the, you, you know? no. and and people power is now talking, and they're all talking it up big, and I I don't think the demonstrations will let up all over the world, and the more the all the Palestinians have to do now is just keep posting on social media the atrocities. Everywhere, and I, I don't think you're... I don't think it will be possible to keep the demonstrations up. I don't think the subject is to uh, unless, of course, we 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 do terrible things in Gaza for an extended period of time. This is one of the things which is which is is good is that the demonstrations are there. They keep reminding us uh, that if we go over the top in Gaza, uh, that's that's no good, no matter what. So... They're, they're even sharing, right? So th these are people of the world, not the Palestinians, are, st are boycotting all companies that stand for or are Israeli-backed, right? And they're sharing how they're affecting their, their cash mm -hmm. and, and, or their BDS? margins on the stock market. Yeah? 
and, and they're saying not, that's not working. Very, not look, very look effective. At, look, look at their stock price dropping, and, and and they're sending pictures of how, for example, a Starbucks shop is is got nobody in it. Employees are saying we've left. Same with McDonald's. Th this is okay. bigger I, than what I, you think. I'm uh, I'm I'm sure there's also a lot of uh, f fake news there. Uh, because yeah, yeah. The, but, that's, but that's the what... stock market doesn't lie. You look it up, and it's right. <laughs> right? <laughs> they, they, they are, they're starting to affect anybody that they think is supportive. Uh, any big business that is supporting Israel. Okay. Well, right? we have so to deal Israel will have to deal become with it. more and more isolated. Hmm. I I think you're like like I said. I think you're. There's less evidence than you than you. Make it sound uh, well, real evidence. I said, but figure. but yeah, please do. We're yeah. going to find out anyway. I mean, the, we're going to have the the uh, well, time the is rating agencies. The rating agencies going to have to clock in sometime, and they're going to take yep. notes. Yep. And like I said, I don't I don't believe. If, look, if there's an incursion in into Gaza, I think maybe you guys would lose 20 thirty thousand soldiers and maybe we'll lose no. too many too we're not people. We're, then we're, no, nobody's going to go in with that kind of we didn't go in last time when the when the prediction was 400 kill so we're not going to yeah. go if anybody yeah. has in mind anything like that we it's not the, the, actually I I think as as time passes the likelihood of incursion is going down yeah I mean Netanyahu who keeps threatening right? What what has he had, has he got left to do? No, yeah. and and is there any water or food or drink getting to the people living in yes. the south or is yes in, 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 no. in, so in the, the south, people that are closer to your border? No, the the, the 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 supplies are all all of the supplies are coming in from Rafa from from Rafia, from yeah. from the from from Egypt, yeah. and which is going to the south. Okay, mm. the, the north yeah. is not, right. not getting anything, so that that's the so whole idea. Got... The whole idea is to get the people to the south. But they're not going to move. Well, some of them won't move. They, they, but... They've all said, we'll die where we stand. We're, we're okay. not going to give up our land. That, it's, that's part of, the, part of the fight. You know, so if, if, one people, if one million people die, we're saying that's they're not going to be the they're, they're, they're already, already, I think, more than half a million have moved. But that doesn't make a difference. It's, it's not relevant if it's 200,000 left or 100,000 left or 300,000 left. Okay, It's an, an untenable situation. Israel, Israel won't, be, won't get away with bombing 100,000 who are left there. Okay, this is this is the war of nerves right now. We're trying to get as many people out as possible so we can go in conceivably. If we're actually going in or not, I don't know. But the, obviously, this is a, a, a humanitarian disaster, no matter which way you look at it, and no matter yeah. how much, no matter no, no no matter how much you let in or or don't let in, it's a humanitarian disaster. Not to talk about the the, the hostages. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like we said, there's 1.1 million displaced, no, no homes, no shelter, mm -hmm. and we're going into winter, right? Yeah, that's a, and this, the whole thing is that the, the, all the, uh, the the situation is is getting more problematic as we as we speak. And there's no, there's no like uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, the situation no. is getting worse from all sides. Yeah. So uh, well, somebody, everybody... something's got to give. Well, the way I see it is, all right, the the gorillas got out of the cage and they did the atrocities they did, right? And but none of them have ever seen the outside world until they got out of the cage. Um, they're twenty year olds. Most, most of them have yeah. Most of them. Some of them have yeah, obviously right? got training at somewhere, but, right. but yeah. And and Israel has said, oh, we haven't lost a thousand people since the Holocaust, mm -hmm. so it's a re revenge attack, right? It's a revenge attack against all Palestinians. What's happening now? Right. Yeah. 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 This is revenge. Right. Right. So, so the Palestinians aren't to have allowed to have revenge 
for the 75 years of suffering they've gone through, right? But Israelis, because they have overwhelming power, right, and, and have this collective conscience that nobody can hurt us, Right. It's, just, it's a human. Care. It's a human trait. It's not, you know, the, yeah. the human the human trait is not to take responsibility, and yeah. uh, and and to lash out. Okay, that's why why Biden warned us not to, to repeat the mistakes that the United States did after nine eleven. Okay, right. but so that's that, what the world is is seeing, and that's exactly what they're all talking about. I'll read you something which which. Uh, uh, a Lebanese American researcher wrote in the uh, he was quoted in the Economist. Mm. He said the following: Terrorist and insurgent groups resort to spectacular violence to provoke an irrational response. They know that the harm that they can do to the dominant power is limited. They understand that the harm that the dominant power can do to itself is infinitely greater. Exactly. Hussein Ibish said that. Uh, yeah. um, all right, well, uh, all we can do is sit down and watch and, and hope it doesn't uh, escalate can, into... I hope, I hope somebody um, tries to bring down the government here because uh, I I really think we're, we're going from bad to worse. Uh, but, but Do you but, really uh, think there'd be a change in position if the government comes down? I mean, when I say change in position, the paradigm between Palestine and Palestine. It will. It, I, th I think it will be easier to to uh, to de to develop a, new, a different policy. Okay, I'm not saying that the, uh, immediately when, uh, there will be an immediate change, but uh, uh, this this will be not a one way street. The moment the government changes, there will be. Uh, that will start people who, who who start thinking, and also there'll be uh, a lot to rebuild, and there'll be a lot of money required, and the Americans will have a lot to say. Not that they don't have anything to say now, but uh, I mean, the, the the way I see it is Israelis can't help it anymore. They just keep going more and more and more right because in their heads, it can only be a Jewish state. No, and... I don't think I don't think it's a, that that's uh, that's uh, an issue right now. I think that the the most important thing that uh, driving Israelis now is the fear that they're not safe in their home. Okay, that somebody next door, I my Arab neighbors, my Israeli Arab neighbors, okay, are one and a half miles to to the east. Okay, now they are good law-abiding citizens and they're not doing anything right now for the time being okay but if they decide that they've had enough of their jewish co-citizens okay that i have to sh i have to shoot myself out of here okay so so this is this is people people are thinking of that okay and so at, at the same the time Palestinians... at the same Sorry time for jumping in yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So at the same time, I've had an Arab, an Arab Israeli call me and break out in tears that she's afraid of an, of another Nakba. Okay, so this is all playing at the same time. Okay, and uh, uh, and and the government isn't isn't dealing with it. Okay, it's not dealing with it. Yes, they did. They armed the settlers and said, "Go shoot and kill whoever you yeah, want." That's what they're doing. No, okay, <laughs> that, that's how they're dealing yeah. with it. Yeah, well, they're not dealing with it because that's with the Palestinians. That's that's easy, okay? Mm. That's easy. With the Palestinians, it's easy because they're the enemy anyway in 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 the mindset of the government, okay? But but the with the Arab Arab citizens of Israel, they're not the enemy. They're potentially could be an enemy if we if we try really hard. They'll also come and become an enemy. So we have to make sure we don't. Yeah. All right. The well, situation is pretty crappy. It is. It is. Uh, mm. Well, I just hope it ends soon because, so, so do I. Uh, as I said, uh, the, in, in reality, it could turn into a genocide very quickly. Yeah. Right? If it, if it, uh, if it I, lasts I, any the longer. The army won't participate. There will, be, there will be instances of massacres and things like that. That, will, that, will, that may, may happen, but there won't be anything big scale. 
it's bad enough the no. way it is. You know, it's it's bad enough with collateral but, damage. We we just agreed that the Palestinians in the north, be they half a million or one million, right, hmm. have got no food, no water, no, 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 still, no sanitary, they're, 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 they're no, no not, sanitary conditions. They're, they're still not. It's not that dear, but it's getting it's getting there. It's not that. I mean, we're trying to, yeah. to, to we're trying to make it make it yeah. that happen, make that happen. And, and you and you've got Netanyahu who said this is going to be a protracted war. Yeah. But he, he hasn't he, taken he hasn't taken those words away. He doesn't hasn't taken the words away. He 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 doesn't know what's flying. The the economy is you know what's going to limit this whole undertaking is the economy. Okay, but because Biden's about to give you sixty million dollars so you can keep that, feeding that, your that, that's all that's not that's not going to that's going to help. But we we're paying right now a hundred million dollars per day is only the reserve to keeping everybody under arms. A hundred million dollars per day, and that's been going already for for 10, 10 or twelve days. Okay, that that's the, now the economy is is running at 30, 40 percent. Okay, because all the people who are in the economy are are drafted, the the the, the doers. Okay, so that's going to make a, a big impact. So uh, that, I don't think we have the staying power uh, that Netanyahu would like. You know, just uh, nonchalantly uh, throws around. This is going to be a long mm -hmm. war. We don't do long wars, okay? We don't. We don't. Okay. So, yeah. so I think that's going to help to cut cut us through. All right. All right. Well, I don't know. Do you want to stop recording, or should we keep going, Rebecca? We could stop. Yeah. So thank you. Thank thank you, thank you guys. Thank you guys.